Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for October the 8th. Today is the birthday in 1515 of Henry VIII's niece, Lady Margaret Douglas. Margaret was the daughter of the Scottish Queen Dowager Margaret Tudor and her second husband, Archibald Douglas, 6th Earl of Angus. Margaret remarried him for love, losing her regency in the bargain. Margaret, the daughter, was born at Harbottle Castle in Northumberland. Her mother, who was Henry's sister Margaret, had crossed the border from Scotland when her husband was facing threats there because of the marriage and the politics. In October of 1528, Angus was again threatened by James V, and he sent Margaret, the daughter, back over the River Tweed into England at Norham Castle. She stayed at Burrett Castle, accompanied by her nurse for a while, and then she joined the household of her godfather, Cardinal Wolsey. Wolsey died in 1530. Lady Margaret was invited to the household of Princess Mary, who became her lifelong dear friend. She was in high standing with her uncle, Henry VIII, who gave her very generous gifts when she was younger. Now, when Anne Boleyn's court was established, Margaret was appointed as a lady-in-waiting, and there she met Anne Boleyn's uncle, Lord Thomas Howard, and they began a secret courtship. After Henry turned on Anne, he heard of a secret engagement. He was furious. He had had his daughters, Elizabeth and Mary, declared bastards. That left Margaret really high in the succession, and it was a really bad idea for her to have contracted an unauthorized marriage. Both Lord Thomas and Lady Margaret were committed to the Tower. On the 18th of July, 1536, just two months after Anne had been beheaded, by an act of attainder, Parliament condemned Thomas to death for attempting to interrupt and impede the succession of the crown. The act also forbade the marriage of any member of the king's family without his permission. Thomas, however, died before he could be executed. Margaret also fell ill in the tower, and Henry allowed her to move to Sion Abbey, where she was released from imprisonment on the 29th of October, 1537. Later on in 1544, Lady Margaret married a Scottish exile, Matthew Stewart. He was the fourth Earl of Lennox. He later became the regent of Scotland, and their children included Henry Stewart, Lord Darnley, who married Mary, Queen of Scots. That united the claims of the English throne, and it would be their son, James, the grandson, of course, who would eventually fulfill that union. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com.